Yo, yo. What's good, y'all? Man, we got the Tyler Four official announcement cast and major year, major year Easter egg. So, um, yeah, I think they announced it. I don't know. I ain't really checked the video out. I just saw them saying, oh, they announced the cast. So, hey, but um, watch the video. I'm about to see what's going on with the Tyler Four. And, um, yeah, I'm about to see you. So, um, yeah, I said, yeah. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka All Fire. Hey, Mars, that was like video that, song. The official cast for the Fantastic Four, and only days after we get the first trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine, Marvel Studios actually released two official promos one for the logo and for the film. There's some details in here we can tell, and then, of course, the other, what is an artistic impression of the four members of the Fantastic Four cast. But you can clearly tell who the actors are. We're going to break it all down Marvel's announcement, the cast reveal, and what we can tell about the film from the official promo because there is one easter egg in here that tells us exactly what year the fantastic four is set and i'm going to explain but first if you could grab the subscribe button we do daily marvel content at the channel and that's all we do everything from official easter egg breakdowns trailers and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between so if that sort of things for you hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing ps5 giveaway the next one is right around the corner again all you got to do be a sub, leave a comment if you want, stick around to the end of the video, we get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so this is what they officially released on their social media, and we can clearly... Oh, so, oh okay, so it's the media, okay, like the Instagram, Twitter, type shit. Tell the four members of the Fantastic Four, from right to left, are Pedro... Oh, so he was right though, Pedro, but they just didn't want to announce it, they, that's why he... And they, they, they didn't, they, 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 they told us to leave his old Instagram, he did, he leave his old Instagram, because he didn't want to announce it so early though. <laughs> Pascal, Vanessa Kirby as Sue Storm, Joseph Quinn as Human Torch, and Evan Moss Backrack as The Thing, and of course they made sure to include a portrait of him up on the wall, because otherwise, well, he just looks like The Thing. Now, in the foreground, you can see one other member of the Fantastic Four, and that's their lovable robot, Herbie which stands for Humanoid Experimental Robot B-Type Integrated Electronics and was scooped a couple of weeks ago to be a part of this film. Also, one little tidbit about Herbie, he only existed as a member of the Fantastic Four because the Human Torch was actually under licensing rights to a different company at the time and for a different project outside of Marvel, so they had to come up with a member and this is what they did. Now we know 100% from the styling that this is sort of retro, but because of the magazine that he's reading here in the foreground, we actually know exactly when the Fantastic Four is set. This magazine is actually a magazine issue of Life magazine that featured Lyndon Johnson on the cover and was published on December 13th, 1963. So there's some huge implications here, not just that this is going to be set during the 60s, but where and when the Fantastic Four are. Because as I've said in multiple videos, so they don't, the, so they're basically they time travel. Oh, they got stuck in the what's it called? Yeah. Marvel so. Studios has exhaustively gone over the 1900s through several franchises, several lookbacks at what's gone on in the past for superheroes. And I feel like it would be extremely remiss if the Fantastic Four had existed in the 616 timeline and they were only just now getting brought up. That is, unless they were early members of the space program and ended up getting stuck somewhere else in the multiverse in time and space and from the 60s and without any real record of them, not only would that cause their powers, but that would cause them to be pretty much omitted from most of the history in the 616. But I think it a lot more likely that they're going to be coming from a completely different part of the multiverse. And when they do eventually meet up with the 616, well, that's where they'll be to stay after the multiverse is completely resurrected and at the end of the multiverse saga. Now, there may be some other details tucked in here, and we'll have to look even closer for them. But at the end of the day, this is just a hand-drawn Valentine promo to announce the cast of the Fantastic Four and confirm when it's coming. Oh, that's fire, though. For Valentine, okay. Yeah. But there's two things I want to address because I already know that there's going to be a fire in the fandom today because a lot of people did not want Pedro Pascal as Fantastic Four. One of the things I'm not going to do, especially here at this channel, and I urge you guys not to do because we have over a year before the film comes out, is to not complain about the cast before you give them a shot. Look, I'm all for calling something bad if it actually is bad, say like Madam Web, but I'm not for complaining about something or borrowing grief from the future when we haven't even seen it yet. And look, we've been a lot more surprised by castings in the past. There may be a chance that this is the perfect cast and they'll have the perfect chemistry when finally we get them on screen. So if 
Rich chocolate meets smooth and creamy peanut butter flavor with nutrition that keeps you feeling like today's your day with a premier protein chocolate peanut butter shake. 30 grams of protein, 160 calories. One gram of sugar, premier protein. Sweeten the journey. Mobile games are going big. Free Fire Mac is now... If you're in the camp of, hey, Pedro Pascal never felt like Reed Richards that you read in the comics, just look past that, give him a shot, and we can talk about it after we see the first film. And keep in mind that this team, more than maybe any other, is really built on the chemistry with each other. They have to be a family. And so I'm guessing that it was a lot more intricate casting than just picking one person here and one person there. Probably a lot of screen testing, a lot of reading together to see if the chemistry they were Oh, yeah, true. You already know they did all that. Process, trust in them. To I was saying before, before they even cast them, they, yeah, they put them in the meeting and script and all that other shit, you know what I'm saying? Get yeah. the right actors, and if it's bad after you see it, then you can complain. Tomorrow's here. I was the long way out of playing. Tomorrow's be doing doing good with casting. Like they 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 know what they're doing. But let's not go doing that before. The other thing I would say is that there were some of you who were pretty upset that this was going to be a period piece. And I would say, look, there's plenty of Fantastic Four and set in the modern era, say during Avengers: Secret Wars, Fantastic Four two going into Phase Seven, having them do a sort of retro vibe is totally cool because remember Matt Shackman's the guy who directed WandaVision and for something that was meant to be sort of a period homage absolutely pulled that off and within the confines of Disney Plus where most of the productions there have been pretty bad so the fact that they got this guy who already did it he's proven within the company understands the IP and that they're doing this and with the first film well basically they get a shot to put the Fantastic Four in their own setting that's when the comics were published make it the sort of story that it was back then pay homage to that and do something different than the other two Fantastic Four films have done and then they've got plenty of other films in the future of the franchise to do a lot more modern thing I don't mind them taking this shot at all and I think it'll actually make for a really cool and different feeling film but you guys let me know all your thoughts down below as always how you feel about the cast the specific actors also how you feel about this being a retro piece i'm all ears let me know your thoughts quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before i let you go all right we are still giving away playstation anyway man like it up so let me know what y'all think um, the fantastic four cast and this is the official announcement so saying no more like you know what i mean fans and you know guessing what who, who and which right let me know y'all like it or not let me know let me know comment below but um yeah peace